There's a saying that Harvey uh, Superboys often says when it comes to it's been a while. It's been a while since a woman has had that title, but I think it's safe to say that Serena Williams has earned that title. Now I haven't done a pre-recorded video at all discussing the whole Serena Williams thing, you know, with her match against Naomi Osaka, mainly because I was waiting to do those for my live stream. And the first time I actually spoke about it was on my live stream last week, which is on my live stream channel. And if you would like to and have you didn't see it or you weren't, you know, around when I did it, the link to the live stream channel is in the description. Now, this story with this entire thing has gone on for far too long, in my opinion. I've never seen something like this in any sports realm just carry on for days at a time. Like, it's, it's almost been a week, you know, since all of this happened. You know, when she had her match against Naomi Osaka. And I think I'm going to do another video, but it's going to be more focused on her. But hopefully this might be the only video I do concerning the whole Serena Williams thing. And this the most recent development that has come out today. And that is that umpires are possibly looking at boycotting any match that Serena Williams is participating in in the future out of fear of what happened to the umpire who she got aggressive with. I said, that sounds like some bitch made shit when you really think about it. I said, you mean to tell me that these grown men are scared of this uh, woman? Like, did she put fear in their hearts? I mean, I know that Serena has some size to her, but at the end of the day, like, you're not just going to sit there and risk your income because of that. And this sounds very familiar. If y'all remember two years ago when Beyonce had performed Formation, at the Super Bowl halftime show, you had cops saying that they were not that they were not going to secure the perimeter for her concert when she started it, her um, tour, which I think the first show was in Miami. But then when the minister came out and said that they'll have the nation do it for her, they quickly changed that tune. And was like, you know what? We got time today. Maybe we blew this a little bit out of proportion. We will be in attendance, you know, to secure the perimeter. That's because they didn't want Minister Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam anywhere near that area. Uh, that's that's why I say um, the minister has a lot of power within his ranks, and he still instills fear into many people in this establishment. But anyway. I'm going to go ahead and read this article that's coming from Yahoo Sports. It says, as fallout continues from Saturday's heated U.S. Open final that saw Naomi Osaka defeat Serena Williams in a match marred by conflict and controversy, tennis umpires are having their say. They're not pleased with Williams or what they see as a lack of support from the tennis world for chair umpire Carlos Ramos, who was on the receiving end of a heated outburst from the 23-time Grand Slam champion. The Times of London reports that there is a growing consensus that umpires feel they were not supported by the USTA on several occasions and cite one anonymous source claiming that umpires are considering boycotting matches played by Williams. Now, I've never heard them say that they would ever boycott people's matches before when it was other tennis players who were doing the same thing. But they decided to say they wanted to boycott it because it was her. Now, to Serena, I have to say this. When she had did her press conference after the match and she was talking about sexism and it was because she's a woman, she told only part of the reason. She left out the fact that she is a black woman. And I've noticed that over the years, her, especially maybe her sister too, but mostly Serena, loved to omit the part about them being black. And I, I know that their dad, Richard Williams, had to instill in them that they are black girls going into a white dominated sport especially white male dominated sport i know he had to have told him that that guy had seen and heard a lot through his lifetime so he knows but it seems that they are trying they try to distance themselves from that but let me continue 
The sources tell the Times that some umpires believe that Ramos was thrown to the wolves for simply doing his job and not willing to be abused for it, and that they are considering to refuse any matches assignments involving Williams until she apologizes for vilifying Ramos and calling him a liar and a thief. Williams was assessed three code violations during the loss to Osaka. Ramos warned her against receiving coaching early in the second set, which Williams protested. A frustrated Williams later smashed her racket, which she has done before, um, and many others, and accused Ramos of sexism for assessing penalties that she believes would not have been given to a man. Williams called Ramos a thief and demanded an apology. The third code violation resulted in a game penalty for Williams. Williams explained her anger, anger in the post-match media conference. He never took a game from a man because he said, thief, Williams said. For me, it blows my mind, but I'm going to continue to fight for women. See, there she is. See, here's the thing, Serena. We know you are exuding a lot of feminist nature. You're exuding, I mean, it's pretty damn obvious now. But have them white women come out and said anything yet? Because I haven't heard one peep from them, nor have I ever heard a peep from that white husband of yours either on any occasion. But you know what's so funny? I saw on Twitter yesterday where it was some screenshots from Reddit. You know Reddit, the same company that your husband uh, co-founded, where they were leaving racist remarks. And I bet you he didn't even show you those, those screenshots. But let me continue. The fact that I have to go through this is just an example for the next person. Williams was later fined $17,000 for her outburst. A former umpire echoed the concerns of the Times source with ESPN t Tuesday. Richard Ings, a retired elite gold badge umpire described as having close ties with the active umpires, told ESPN that officials feel like the WTA doesn't have their back. The umpiring fraternity is thoroughly disturbed at being abandoned by the WTA. They are all fearful they could be the next Ramos. They feel that no one has their back when they have to make unpopular calls. See, it's crazy how... See, it's like, I, it's like I'm telling Serena that she has her wake-up call, but in the same time doing this video, it's like hard for me to not defend her at the same time because it's clear racism is playing a part in this. But she won't. She will not admit it. She knows she's going to lose those sponsors if she does. That's why she played it safe and said that you know that is just you know against women and everything of that nature. I can't remember the last time it happened to a, a, a white woman, like Maria Sharapova, for instance. Even though she took drug enhancers and still lost to Serena Williams, by the way. Ramos did receive the backing of the International Tennis Federation, which released a statement Monday in his support. Carlos Ramos is one of the most experienced, respected umpires in tennis, the statement reads. Mr. Ramos' decision were in accordance with the relevant rules and reaffirmed by the U.S. De Open's decision to fine Serena Williams for the three offenses. Ramos spoke publicly Tuesday for the first time since the match in an interview with Tri Tribuna Expresso in his native Portugal. I'm fine given the circumstances. It's a delicate situation, but a la carte arbitration does not exist. Do not worry about me. Like I said towards the beginning of this video, I don't remember a lot of these umpires saying that they were going to boycott other people's matches when they did other things as well. Serena, all the missiles and slings and arrows and laser points are all directed toward you for a reason. And it's not because you're just a woman, because if that was the case, they would have did it to other women in the past. Remember the cat suit thing that you put on? White women wore that too, but they, they targeted you. This situation right here, other white people have gotten away with it, but they decided to want to boycott you. I'm like, do bells and whistles have to go off in your head for you to realize that racism plays a part? It's not just the fact that you're a woman. I mean, we could probably yell that to her in her face and she still won't admit that that's what the root cause is. And if she's scared to say it because of her white husband, then damn it, she shouldn't have married the guy. Besides, he married up. She married way down. Pull up them networks and you'll see what I mean. But like I said, it's hard for me to defend her, but it's hard for me not to at the same time. It's like I'm sitting damn near neutral but i'm leaning towards the part where i don't want to defend her because she really brought a lot of this on herself for personal decisions that she made 
it's unfortunate, especially since you had the community really rallying behind you. You still have some, do you know, there, but now it's like some of them have fell off over the years. And this, unfortunately, does not help because now they are going to end up propping up Naomi Osaka as the new queen of tennis. I've seen people say that. They are saying that Naomi Osaka is going to be the new queen of tennis and that Serena Williams' time is up and she's about to be dethroned. And to be honest, this is probably what they wanted to happen all along. For you to take a back seat and for you to just leave. And to be honest, Serena, the re another reason they're doing this to you is because they do not want you to beat Margaret Court's record of 24 Grand Slam single titles. They want you stuck at that 23. They don't even want you to tie that record. So they're going to do everything they can to fuck with you. Because I know that, because I was actually talking to somebody, they said they think that Serena will retire if and when she beats that record. But Serena better hurry up because she's pushing 40 and she just pushed out a child. So her body is changing. Naomi Osaka has youth on her side. She's only 20. So she can move much faster than Serena could. This isn't Serena 20 years ago wearing the beads in here. This is Serena Williams 20 years later, who's damn near 40, just pushed out a child. The real miracle is the fact that she got that far after having a child. And that, they didn't expect that to happen. They call you all kinds of racist things and you still don't say anything. And they say all those things, and your husband doesn't say anything, but that doesn't surprise anybody. I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully she can collect and gather herself and get back on her A-game. That's really all I can say. Better luck next time. Because to my knowledge, she hasn't won a major match since she got with that dude. You know, like those big matches like this one, the U.S. Open, French Open, Wimbledon and stuff like that. She hasn't won any of those matches since she got with that dude. Now, I don't now to to her defense, I can't really count the ones when she was pregnant. Clearly, she couldn't play. But she's been off her A game. And I think that thing she's laid up to was stealing all of her energy. That's just my opinion. I mean, think about it. She was doing well when she was with Drake. Allegedly, so they say. She was doing good when she was with Common. She get with this white guy, downhill. Now, what does that tell you? Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be down below, and the links to the shirts will be pinned in the comments. I'll talk to you in the next one.